This is the, the this other is one. this is James the, the the senator, United States senator, and his son, the the federal district judge. They were very close friends of our family, particularly of my my uncle uh, Tom Murray. Now, what what did your uncle Tom Murray do? What was his background? Tom Murray also graduated from the University of Michigan. <laughs> I don't know whether you're interested in this, but he went to work for a small insurance company in Omaha, didn't think it had a future, uh, Mutual of Omaha, so he moved back to Butte, and uh, he owned the Granite, Alaska building on the corner of Granite and Alaska, and uh, he had an auto dealership, uh, Plymouth, Chrysler Plymouth, and he was the uh, General Motors truck dealer, which was he sold a lot of trucks and parts to both the Anaconda Company and the uh, uh, Montana Power Company. Uh, but he was a very good friend of, of Judge Murray's, that's the federal judge. We, we called him Dub Murray and Bill Murray, his son. And uh, um, Where was that dealership at that he had? On there? Granite, Granite, so Alaska. That, Granite so Alaska. Okay. And then when, when did he do that? When did he come back to Butte, do you know? Well, he graduated from Michigan in 28. How long he was in Omaha, I don't know, but he was certainly back in Butte when I started going there. They lived down on uh, Platinum Street, and for a long time they lived right next to Les Sheridan, who had uh, was in Finland Sheridan Construction Company. He was killed in an auto in a plane crash, as you know. And... Uh, the interesting thing about where I got to see a lot of the Butte people was the people in Butte would give up drinking and smoking for Lent and then they'd have a big party. They'd have parties all over on Easter <laughs> and the Murray, the, you know, Judge Murray would come and uh, Joe Roberts from Roberts Rocky Mountain who helped put the the uh, Our Lady of the Rockies up on the hill there and all kinds of Butte people uh, would get together on Easter, and they'd go from house to house a lot of times. Joe McCaffrey, who was a lawyer in Butte and a very close friend of Judge Murray's, uh, would take eight millimeter movies of the people at the Murray house, and he was f particularly fascinated with women's hats, because one Easter that they'd all have fruit on their hats, and the next Easter they'd have feathers, and then he was interested in how the skirts went up and down as the years went on. And his, we've still got somewhere these copies of these movies he made. And uh, the people that were there, uh, whose names I probably have forgotten. But, uh, and Tom, one of, another close friend of, of Tom Murray's was Jimmy Bortoglio, who was the Budweiser dealer. In, they called him Uncle Bulgy. And his wife uh, w was a clerk in the uh, judicial offices of Judge Murray. I mean, this Butte's a people person, John. I mean, and, you know, and everybody knew everybody. Uh, and they were, you know, they, they, Helena was a s slightly snobby, I think. But Butte, you know, it didn't matter who you were or where you were. They, they just took you in and you had fun. And your your family, your Murray family, and Senator Murray's family were two different lines entirely. Oh yeah, the, 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 the Senator Murray and and uh, uh, Judgment they, they were Irish, and the Murrays were Scott, and uh, they got uh, the, the Murray family got into the wrong on the wrong side of one of those fights in Scotland. And they migrated to the Carolinas before the revolution, and uh, then they they uh, ended up in Newport East Tennessee, and that's where Dr. Murray was born, and they were uh, they were uh, as I say Southern Baptists. And then the Noyes family. When did they get to the United States? Well, the Noyes family. Uh, they came. They were in. They came to New England before the revolution. I'm a little ashamed of that. They were in New England before the revolution, and then they moved to Canada because they were 
uh, empire loyalists. And then after the revolution, they came back to the United States. And John Mur uh, Noyes has an interesting history. Uh, he came out west and went to California and got involved in some kind of an Indian fight. And then he bought a mining claim in Butte, sight unseen, and came to Butte. And he made his money in real estate. And the abstractor over there was telling me about what he had done. Uh, and as I say, he must have been an Episcopalian because he, uh, the, one of the windows in the Episcopal Church over there, the stained glass was paid for by, by uh, him. And his, bro his son, my, my grandmother's brother, whose name was John, and they called him Jack, and I called him Uncle Jack, he went on the uh, gold rush to the Yukon and uh, he got to know uh, Robert Service, and I've got an autographed copy of Robert Service's poems that he got from him, directly from him. He was a fascinating guy, and uh, as I say, Dr. Murray was a, was a Southern Baptist, but Uncle Jack and my grandmother, whose name was Alice, my sister's Alice too, Alice Noyes Murray uh, and uh, Uncle Jack used to play cards in the Murray house and drink beer. And they and they used to take their beer, the beer caps and shake them in their hands when Dr. Murray came by because they knew that irritated him. <laughs> <laughs> now the he Noy didn't drink and uh, the Noyce family that that uh, heritage is that uh, is that English? Or they're Scottish. Scottish too. too? Okay. And then uh, the Tyke uh, the first Tyke he came directly from Cornwall. He came from Corn. He answered an ad to work in the Comstock Lode in for Virginia City, Nevada, and uh, he came over and worked in the Comstock. The, the 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 coincidence to me is he was working in the Comstock Lode at the same time Marcus Daly was there working for George Hurst. Now whether they knew, I don't. I doubt that they ever knew each other, but uh, was he married then? Do you think? Well, he was married because he'd had, he had children, oh, a right. wife and children in Cornwall. When he finally got enough money to bring them over, then they came over and my grandmother, Lydia Tyke, was born in Virginia City, Nevada. And then uh, Bennett, where did he come from overseas? Uh, John Bennett, who was my great-grandfather, was from uh, the industrial area in England, uh, Liverpool and Manchester, and the only reason I know that is be because there, there was quite a Bennett family at one time. Uh, my dad's cousin Tom Bennett sold mining equipment in Butte, and he was from Michigan. So uh, <clears throat> I want to make sure we've covered the women in the families. Uh, let's go through it systematically. So Bennett's wife was named Lydia. Last name Tyke. T o i a c k. Okay. And then uh, Dr. Murray's wife was named was Alice Noyes Murray. Okay. Alice Noyes. N o y e s. And then your mother, her family name was Murray. Murray. And your father, his family name was Bennett. Bennett. Yeah. Okay. And, and my mother had a brother, Tom Murray, and a sister, Margaret. And I should throw this in. Margaret Murray married Tom Taylor, who was a bank examiner. He was from Lewistown. And the Murray family owned a small savings and loan. And they asked Tom Taylor to run it for them. Which Murray family? Uh, I don't know who owned the savings loan at that point. I think it was started by uh, Senator Murray's uncle, okay. and it and Tom Murray uh, developed it, and it became 
Prudential Federal Savings and Loan, and they built a big building there in Butte. Uh, but so Tom Taylor, you know, started out working for the Murray family, uh, running their savings and loan for them. And he realized that there was a lot of money in Butte, but that Butte was slowly uh, deteriorating, or not deteriorating, but you know, they were, it was, they were on their way out. So he went down to Salt Lake and opened up a branch a branch office of Prudential Federal Savings and Loan because uh, S Salt Lake in the, sur in the 30s was beginning to grow and he moved, he and his uh, family and, and uh, moved down there. But the Taylors, uh, that would be Tom Taylor and Margaret Murray Taylor, they lived in Butte and they lived up on Caledonia and, I, and they had one son Tom Taylor, who was uh, a year older than I am, and uh, he and I were were very close. And they and, and if you know where Caledonia is, we used to go up and and go down uh, Big Butte on toboggans. <laughs> and he had a lot of friends in Butte. Tom Taylor. Well, uh, 